the Denver Nuggets head to Los Angeles to square off against the Lakers. Right now, the Lakers, a four-point home dogs, plus 148, total sitting at 230. Uh, yeah, it, it's scary fading the Nuggets, but I think I'm going to do it. Uh, give me the Lakers plus four here. You know, um, I, I just think there are certain spots for this Lakers team, and this is a buy on spot for the Lakers. It's also like a fade spot uh, for the Nuggets. Uh, tra- it's the first of their travel, and the Nuggets have kind of, uh, I wouldn't say phoning it in, but they're three, six, and one against the spread their last 10. Like they haven't been uh, locked in uh, at least how they normally are nuggets wise. Uh, AD has been playing pretty well. This just feels like a must win spot for this Lakers team. Uh, I'm in on the Lakers. So uh, yeah, give me the Lakers plus four shark. You're wearing the hat. Are you on the Lakers as well? I would certainly hope so. A beautiful print <laughs> it is. 10 o'clock, crypto.com, taking Lakers with shot here at plus four. And, Sean, you said that, De- that Denver's 3-6-1 and one last uh, 10 ATS. Actually, on, on other lines, the opening lines, they're actually 5-1 and one ATS last six. So they're actually really hot, but getting lucky. Super tight covers against Indiana, Philadelphia, covered a plus 6.5 at Oklahoma City, covered a 11.5 against Portland. This is a sell spot statistically for Denver tonight. And this is the absolute top level of motivation you will find from the Lakers this year. The Lakers lost the Western Conference Finals in a sweep last year to Denver. Insulting, to say the yes. least. And then they backed it up in the opener on October 24th in Denver with another double-digit loss to Denver. So this is a 5X revenge game. And you start to go through with how these teams have played each other in the regular season – Five consecutive double-digit home wins. And it just seems like this is what these teams do. Go on the road, lose by 10, come back home, win by 10 or more. Doesn't matter how they're going to get there. It could be the refs with 35, 40 free throws. It could be a heat check from LeBron from the three-point line. Doesn't matter what's going to happen. Doesn't matter how cynical you are with the refs. They (laughs) will get there tonight. And, and the final point of the game, the number is actually on the Lakers here. Uh, Denver was favored minus five and a half at home. This came in at minus two open, which was short. And I think this is just syndicate steam, which seems to be pumping these favorites up recently. If you guys are following the market overnight, favorites are getting juiced every single night. It doesn't indicate wins. It just indicates guys that are buying short lines for value. So I think they're actually giving us more value on the Lakers side here at plus four, as I said, top motivational spot on the board Buy hat engage crypto.com with Sean plus four Lakers. Let's go. Yeah. And it does seem like whatever drama was surrounding uh, LeBron James tweeting out the hourglass emoji. <laughs> uh, seemingly that's been resolved. Uh, I don't know. He's not getting traded. Uh, I don't know. You know, excuse uh, almost, almost, almost sneezed on air and I caught it, uh, <laughs> which is more embarrassing. I probably should have just let the sneeze go. Um, but yeah, the hourglass emoji seem to be powering through that and the Lakers, you know, I, I probably undersold it, but they've won their last three games, you know, against some against quality teams like the Knicks and the Celtics. So I think they're, they're finding a little bit of rhythm here. Noobs, how say you Lakers nuggets? I have no idea what to do with this game. Uh, like you said, Sean, the Nuggets are kind of sleepwalking through the season here, but they seem to get up for big spots and no spot bigger than this, especially on Kobe Bryant night. Apparently, we're going to put a Kobe Bryant statue up tonight, and there's going to be lots of videos and stuff, and, and who knows what that means for, for whom and how that affects the game and, and whatnot. But uh, it just does. It seems like a spot where we're going to get the Nuggets' best effort. If we do, they're better than this Lakers team. They've showed us yeah. time and time again, but I don't know if I can count on that at the same time. It is Kobe Bryant night, so I imagine Anthony Davis and LeBron James, despite being listed questionable, will probably play, but we don't know. And another team that's right in the heart of a lot of trade deadline conversations, D'Angelo Russell, from what I understand, has been chopped pretty hard for the last three or four days. And if he's not out there on the floor tonight for Los Angeles because he's been traded, that's a big loss. So just too much uncertainty here for me. Um, You know, if we get past the trade deadline, all the lineups are clear. This will be a fun game to watch, I think, but I can't advise anyone bet anything right now. Lag it up for me and the shark uh, plus four. Let's go Lakers. 